Give it up for Man Via Sing, everybody. Yeah. Don't be afraid. <laughs> my first time on stage. I know how you guys think. <laughs> it's cool, man. Stereotypes are cool. They get us through the day. People ask me questions all the time. We know what the problem is, is when people come up to me and ask me stupid questions. The other day, this guy came up to me and he's like, hey, man, if you ride a motorbike, do you wear a helmet and then the turban? <laughs> <laughs> I should really thought outside the turban for that one. <laughs> But I want to tell you guys about a, problem, about a problem I had the other day. And guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. I went to a restroom, and there's two types of toilet seats. One is where it's like an oval, and it doesn't connect at the end. And the one is like the small circle toilet seats. Whoever made these small circle toilet seats hates dicks. <laughs> Absolutely hates them. Because I don't know how to sit on these things. Like, okay, I'm sitting down, how do I take a piss? I don't understand what to do. Like, do I do I do like a little lap dance and like move around trying to get it in there, or do I try to go like shotgun and try to go? Hut, hut, hut. <laughs> I don't know. It's really confusing. And if I'm having trouble, I don't know how you go through it, man. Like, you must have... <laughs> Just like I have to sit in a bathtub or something. I don't know. <laughs> Asian people will feel confused. <laughs> Never had this problem before. <laughs> White people are probably like, why don't you just stand up? <laughs> Let me tell you, because when you have Indian food, you can take a shit at any time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so I told my girlfriend, I was like, listen, no, let's let's keep this secret between us. I told her about my situation. And I told her, let's keep the secret between us. Now the problem is when you tell a girl to keep stuff between us, they here keep it between the U.S. <laughs> so the next day everybody's coming to me like, ooh, 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 ooh. It sucks, man, but I'm glad my girlfriend's brown. But if I brought home a white girl, all hell would break loose in my house. I could seriously come home and tell my parents that I have a fatal virus, and they would be happier. <laughs> now I could come home and be like, Dad, some bad news. I have HIV. Oh, thank God! <laughs> thank God. Dad, I just told you I have HIV. I know. I thought you were going to say you brought up a white girl. <laughs> Dad, how's that worse? Because if you have HIV, we can hide it. If you bring home a white girl, our whole family would know. <laughs> Sucks, man. You can't get stuff away with, in America that you could in India. Said that wrong. You can get stuff away in America and not in India. Here, you can get, you can have sex with a girl as a teenager, get her pregnant, and have a show about it. I call it 16 and pregnant. In India, it'd be called 16 and dead. <laughs> That's it, that's the end of the line for you. And before my parents would kill me, they would give me a whole speech. You just had to have the sex. <laughs> you had to have the sex. When you were having the sex, did you even think about your mom and dad? <laughs> No, and if I did, you should be more worried about that problem. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I love my family. I love them. But the problem is, I can't, I can't go out in public a lot of times with them, especially in a movie theater. It sucks because you never know when that awkward sex scene will come up, and you're sitting next to your parents. The last thing I want to do is get up with a boner and try to walk out. You know, right before I'm about to explode. My white people relax. <laughs> Oh my god, 
But it's crazy, man. I mean, it's crazy because now when you leave the movie theater, you can't look at your parents in the eyes. Because now you feel all dirty. Like, we, we came in a separate, we came to the theater in two separate cars, my mom and my dad. As soon as we left the theater, my mom was like, do you want to ride with mom or daddy? <laughs> like, mom, say father, what's wrong with you? You guys know I can bomb more than jokes, right? <laughs> So I was talking to my dad there, and it's amazing that, you know, after all, these, after all these years in the country, my dad still can't speak perfect English. So what happens is, if he forgets how to say a word, he'll try to say the sound of the word that it makes. So the other day, our doorbell broke. So we went to Best Buy, and, my, and the cashier was like, what seems to be the problem? My dad goes, I seem to have broken my ding dong. <laughs> Yeah, she was like, what are you talking about, man? How did that happen? Like the neighbor's kids, they always come over and play with it. <laughs> like, dude, you're a sick man. Like, yeah, but don't worry, I have it all on videotape. <laughs> Thanks, guys, that's my time. Man, we're singing, everybody.